Welcome, Math 121 uh, Late Start students. Uh, my name is Frank Rivera, and I will basically be your instructor for the next, uh, what, 12 or 13 so weeks that we have uh, with each other for intermediate algebra. Uh, so uh, it looks like you've uh, gotten the email that I sent. Uh, and in this welcome uh, message uh, on our course homepage, which you're currently looking at, um, I'm just going to walk you through some of the basic dynamics and uh, uh, help you get started. All right. Uh, but before I do that, let me go ahead and just kind of remind you of some some items that are, are that are important. And number one, please be aware that this is a late start class, uh, which means we essentially have four weeks left to work with to finish everything we need to finish. So because of that, you will be working every single day. There's something that will be due Monday through Friday night of the week. So if you can't handle that kind of pace, it's kind of like a summer pace. Uh, then, you know, just be wary of that. You might want to rethink about taking a math course uh, in such a condensed uh, version. Uh, if that doesn't scare you, just keep watching. Uh, the next thing I want to make sure you're aware of is that there is no textbook for this class. Um, I used to use a textbook in the past, but this summer I decided to drop it uh, for lots of reasons, but probably the number one is just the cost to you, trying to save you some money. Uh, and then number two, um, I found that my class uh, usually spends more time trying to figure out what my math lab was trying to do rather than just focusing on the math. And I'd rather focus on that. So I've decided over the summer not to do the textbook. However, when you guys do uh, start doing some module work and uh, uh, doing some items for the course, because I made this transition late, a lot of my modules still reference the textbook, but just that doesn't mean you have to buy it, right? Um, if you do want the textbook, email me and I'll be more than happy to send you out a uh, uh, ICBN number so that you can uh, actually get the physical copy of the textbook, but no textbook required. Uh, third, uh, because we only meet twice a week and because this is a late start class, what I've decided to do is run the class as what's called a flipped classroom. So again, be aware you're going to be doing a lot of lesson work outside of class on your own time. So there is going to be a demand on you in that area. So again, if that's a, really not in your wheelhouse, you might want to rethink about uh, uh, taking, again, this Math 121 class in a late start format. But we are flipping the classroom. You'll be required to watch all my lessons. My lessons are online. Um, you'll be taking notes, right? And then we'll be discussing your homework and other items in class to go over things and doing assessments and testing, all right? And then last but not least, before I get going, please be a self-starter. Uh, it's very important that you stay uh, on top of assignments. Don't fall behind. As a matter of fact, I recommend you try to get ahead as much as you can uh, because uh, being a self-starter is very, very important. Okay, so without any further ado then, again, just to summarize that, be aware this is a late start class, right? Be aware that we are no, no, no textbook is required. Be aware that there's a flipped classroom concept going on here and that you got to be a self-starter, right? And if you're still listening, right, which I hope you are, let me go ahead and share my screen. And what you're currently looking at is our home screen for our course. So there's the video you're currently watching at the top. Right below that is all the uh, course information along with my instructor information. Again, this is found on the first page of the syllabus that I hope you've read at this point. My office hours, my location, when am I online, uh, the Zoom link to get online, everything is right there. When you scroll down also, there's some buttons. Uh, the next one, you guys, after this video, you should be doing the getting started button. That gets you into the getting started module. Uh, there's a link to the syllabus that I just sent you in the welcome email. So another place you can locate the syllabus, a link to our calendar, a link to some uh, tutoring, tech support. Very good. Uh, that tech support is GCC's tech support. Um, I'm not a very tech oriented person. Uh, I've learned a lot during the pandemic, but there's still some questions that get me. So if you have some tech questions, you might want to contact them as well as some other uh, resources. Just to kind of show you how these buttons uh, work, let me go ahead and click on the calendar. Uh, what this will pretty much do is give you a rundown of the uh, calendar uh, towards the end of our syllabi. But here's our week by week game plan. You know, this week, week one, uh, Monday, September 28th is the start date. You know, what we're going to be doing this week is going, you know, make sure you can respond to my emails. You're going to be going through the getting started module, the practice assignment, writing your intro, doing the review assignment. I'll be breaking down the syllabus and overall class dynamics to make sure you're comfortable and want to be here. And then next week, you can see uh, next week, uh, 
The due, uh, September 25th is the Monday of that date. Uh, we are testing this week. Um, and then there's three sections that we got to cover, right? Uh, again, you'll be doing those online uh, in Canvas modules and on and on, right? Week three, when we're together, starting October 2nd, right? There's five sections that we're going to be going through, four, four, five, four, five, five, four, six, four, seven, and four, eight. So that's how you kind of read that. Again, uh, just a reminder about our withdrawal, withdrawal date. You have until November 16th to officially withdraw if needed. Um, uh, the also from the syllabi, you know, let's not cheat and let's not use any uh, AI. Let's make sure you're using your your brain power, right? You're learning the material, right? So that's how those buttons work. Let me go ahead. Uh, if you go over to the left here, there's a bunch of other buttons that you'll get be uh, getting familiar with. Let me go ahead and press the home button. When you press that home button, you'll go right back to our home screen, uh, which is where we left. Um, if you press modules. Uh, what you'll do is you'll go to the modules part of our uh, course. Right now, there's just the getting started module and the review module. Uh, but as we do more, uh, all the lesson modules will be here, as you'll see in videos coming soon. If you press discussion, uh, there will be a discussion board up. Uh, right now, there's a discussion board for your review, a discussion board for your introductions, uh, for the write them. It looks like I got two of them open, but I'll I'll fix that. One of only one will be open, but this is where you'll uh, go to your discussion boards. Um, if you want to look at assignments, right, um, you'll hit the assignment key. And right now, uh, you know what's showing up at least on the assignments is your email response, your intro, and your practice assignment are due September twentieth, along with test dates. Our first test being September twenty second, and then if you check grades. Uh, what's nice about Canvas is it keeps an up-to-date uh, uh, queue, if you will, of, the, of your grades. So as you, I grade stuff and enter it, uh, oops, missed the page there. Uh, Canvas will keep track of those grades. Uh, again, via the syllabus, 90, 80, 70, 60 are your A, B, C, and D cut lines. So you can always see your percent. You'll, there should be no question about what your grade is. Uh, and then once in uh, a while, I'll throw some announcements in there. Um, you know, so right now I think uh, I might have some announcements. Yeah, these are some old announcements for another course that I got to get rid of, but that'll start filling up. The other ones, library resources, student resources, tutoring studio, I'll let you guys kind of investigate. But the big ones for us are home, accessing the modules, the discussion boards, the assignments, and then your grades. All right, so let me go ahead and press the home key. All right, so that explains the left-hand side in the middle. Over to the right, you also will see some uh, information for you about uh, usually what's over here to the right is everything that's kind of due. So again, you kind of see those assignments, the email response is due, the introduction is due, the practice assignment is due, test one's coming up September 26th. So that's also another area where you can kind of get a feel for what's, what's coming up, okay? So there's a quick walkthrough of our Canvas course page. Uh, it's pretty much our hub of our class. The next thing you guys should do next is press this getting started button. And when you do, you're gonna to go to that getting started module. And there's another video for of you waiting for you there of me explaining what's gonna happen next. And so for that, so let me go ahead and stop sharing. Uh, welcome aboard. I look forward to having a fantastic semester with you guys. Um, uh, so plan on working hard, um, plan on contributing, make sure you're ready for class every single day. If you've got questions, email me. All right, I'm here to help uh, when and where I can. All right, looking forward to meeting you all and uh, get started uh, with your Canvas stuff. Get going, all right? Talk to you later.